let's get into the news. The news with James Corden. Good evening. This week, <laughs> Congress is discussing a bipartisan bill that would prohibit tech companies like Apple and Amazon from pre installing their own apps on the phones that they sell. The idea is to, to prevent them from giving an advantage to their own products over those of their competitors. Can you, yeah, let me leave that. There'd be no more, like, you don't, you, no more Compass app. <laughs> it's the only one I use. It's the only, how the hell am I gonna get to the South Pole now? <laughs> Imagine this though, they, they, to, to, so you understand, this would just, out of the box, it would just, it would be a phone that can only make and receive calls. <laughs> which is literally the last reason anybody buys a phone. <laughs> what a shame. You know, I guess we just weren't meant to find out whatever the hell the iTunes U app is for. <laughs> For a billion dollars, I couldn't tell you what it's for. Oh. What is there, like... I, I, I even forgot it's on my phone. iTunes you. <laughs> Winnie, you're the, you're the queen of tech. Um, I'm not, but I think it's for, like, <laughs> university textbooks that you can, like, rent and stuff like that. Yep. That's what my guess. Mean? Looking it up here. Is for, it? Says... For-profit university textbooks. Yeah. For-profit. What? Yeah. <laughs> Textbooks. What are you talking about? For college? Why do they call it iTunes U? Branding. University. I get the U bit. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, to be clear, the U bit wasn't what I... The U bit, I was like, oh, that's what the U's for. It's the iTunes bit. It's teaching you how to use iTunes. Yeah, it's like iTunes tutorial. Is it? No, yeah. it's, uh, it's courses. It's different courses. Like, uh, it says here... Get free public courses in the iTunes U catalog. They it's also have, like, you can also, like, do lesson planning, great assignments, and stay connected right from the iPad. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's also well, I, I can't help but feel we're making my point. <laughs> <laughs> and did everybody see this? Scientists are teaching drones to recognize and find human screams. It's true, the technology can be used for search and rescue operations after natural disasters. They say that these can be used for scenarios like hurricanes, wildfires, and, of course, the scenario where robots finally overthrow the human race. I mean... <laughs> what's going on here? Scientists are teaching drones to hunt down human screams, and not one of us is doing a thing to stop it. And I, I include myself in this. I'm like, that's a good story. We can come up with some jokes about that. It's not funny. <laughs> Next, they're going to be like, oh, we're going to put flamethrowers on drones. You know. Oh, yeah. Flamethrowers to, to, to keep people safe from bear attacks. <laughs> and we're all like, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, uh, a Wisconsin grocery store is now giving customers the option to signal to others how comfortable they are with spontaneous interactions by offering colour-coded bracelets. A red bracelet means stay away, yellow means an elbow bump is fine, and green means you can hug or high-five. Which is weird, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm excited that we're allowed to high-five people in grocery stores again. Yes! Pamplemousse LaCroix! Yeah! Bang! Up to... <laughs> Clever idea. How much socialising are people doing at the grocery store? Every six months, I reckon, on average, I see someone I recognise, and usually when that happens, I just duck behind a produce stand... <laughs> ..till the coast is clear, and then I carry on with my day. That's it. Is anyone... Are you, are you social in a grocery store? No, 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 no. I look like when, like, a celebrity gets arrested and they're being led into the courtroom, like, I've, like sunglasses, I've got a jacket over my head, I don't <laughs> want to talk to anybody. No. Yeah. I bet, Cece, I bet you're right. I bet you're always, like... I'm always I bet you know everyone that works there. Hi, Hi. Janine. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Peter, how's the knee? <laughs> Peter, did you get that knee fixed up? Well, that's great. <laughs> that's true. It's yeah, true. I'm is sorry. it? I'm that person. Yeah, I talk to everybody. I do know the people at my local Ralphs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so you're full green bracelet? I'm full green bracelet. But here's my thing. Do you take this bracelet off when you leave the store? Does it count in life? No, I think uh, it's just inside. It only counts inside the walls of that store. So weird. Yeah. So weird. Although I do understand, because nobody knows now. Now that things are opening up a bit, no one knows how to greet each other. People don't know what to do. People are like, yeah, we bought them out. <laughs> I had someone offer me an ankle the other day. I'm not even joking. I was like, what are we, kid and play? <laughs> Joe, seriously, he came up like, hey, man, how you doing? And I was like, good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. And finally, here's a story, and uh, frankly, it's a story. You're not going to find this story on the, in the New York Times or on 60 Minutes, OK? Because, frankly, this is the only show that has the courage, and it is courageous, has the courage to go wherever the news takes us. <laughs> we will shy from nothing, and everyone else does. And this story takes us to that glorious island, the United Kingdom, where a woman was looking for an affordable way to brighten up a plain white wall in her apartment. She tried painting some abstract shapes on the wall, and she ended up with something that looked a bit like, well, see for yourself. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. You don't have to post everything you do on the internet. Just <laughs> paint over it. No one would know. She thought it would make her house look more modern. And it does do that. A giant penis on your wall is nothing if not modern. <laughs> The woman claims she didn't realise what was happening, but I think she planned this out all along. I do. I mean, look at the paint colour that she chose. Springtime penis. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the news.